What's up, YouTube? Welcome to one of my first videos ever um, where I'm going to talk to you how you can move forward with your progress uh, in the gym. So in muscle building, when it comes to muscle building, if you've been in it for a while and you hit a wall, um, like you're an intermediate level or you just starting out, there are some things to consider. Um, some things uh, I would say you would need you need to look at. Uh, just to move forward in that process. So, number one, nutrition. How many calories are you eating? Um, are you consuming enough calories for you to actually build muscle or are you consuming less calories? Uh, also, macronutrients. The macronutrients, uh, your protein, your carbs, your fats are gonna make a huge difference in how, the, how well these are um, balanced and positioned uh, into your daily lifestyle. Also, the food sources that you actually consume have a lot to do with how you progress. You can't, um, I'd say you can't really walk around and eat whatever it is you want. You have to be a little more clear, more precise, um, and actually intake things um, that leads you closer to that goal that you have in mind. I mean, but, I mean, you do whatever you want. I'm just saying. Uh, number two, sleep. Your quality of sleep. Are you waking up every two hours? Uh, you have insomnia? Or um, are you sleeping just four or three hours? If that's the case, uh, the quality of sleep actually affects us in the sense that um, that's when we grow. That's when we actually recover uh, and, you know, rebuild muscle tissue and, you know, balance out other hormones and stuff. Uh, so also take a look at that. Uh, number three, your stress management is going to, is going to affect how well you perform and also your muscle building process. If we're stressed all the time, our cortisol is high and we don't give enough room for our body to actually uh, release the hormones that are responsible for the rebuilding and recuperation process uh, also has to do a lot with energy levels and your training intensity as number four are you actually training well enough that you can say okay yeah I'm, I'm, I'm going hard at it and going hard at it doesn't mean just you like bench 500 pounds but you're using a short range of motion or um your your just bad form you know you know there's there's a lot of other things to consider when it comes to that so take a look at those four things and um let me know if you need any help or if you uh have questions about anything really i'm here to answer them um catch you next time